Okay, folks, here we are again at the uh, BlizzCon 2010 Invitational, The Lost Levels. Um, is that red number on my screen? Hold on. Let me take that off. There we go. Uh, this is a match from round four between Loner, who eventually made his way to the finals, versus a uh, very famous Taiwanese Zerg, Sen, who I'm sure if you're watching this video, have I'm sure you have heard of Sen. Um, he has a very popular live stream. Um, hasn't been uh, in the GSL or anything yet. I don't know if that's just a thing where he wants to stay in Taiwan or what, or but he definitely could qualify if he wanted to. Um, just a very high-ranked ladder player and a very, very good Zerg, a uh, very innovative Zerg. And uh, Loner, who uh, did end up making it to the finals. So, you know, like uh, I said in one of my earlier videos, if you if you're watching these not knowing who won any of the games from BlizzCon, then I'm sorry. I am, I can't, I. Uh, I can't quite uh, cover up the uh, the results that much for you. I mean, it happened about three weeks ago, and it pretty well talked about who won and stuff. So these games are more just for people who saw the tournament but didn't get to see the games that they didn't show and were just interested in the matchups. So this isn't a esports broadcast so much as it is a an ESPN classic, I guess. <laughs> So uh, Sen, uh, with his first scouting overlord, does find Loner. Typically when they scout over here, they'll try and just like sneak a peek just to see that they they spawn there and try and get their overlord out of there just because the, the marine does come so quickly. But um, looks like this overlord might be able to escape to safety um, before the uh, marine is able to be produced. Either that or Sen just doesn't care because look at that. He's patrolling. Uka chaka, uka chaka, uka, uka, uka chaka. That's right. That's the official Zerg theme song. Zerg love Peter Gabriel, too. So there's the uh, barracks. First Marine's going to come out. Looks like Santa's just going to kind of not worry too much about this uh, this Overlord. In the meantime, uh, fast expanding before spawning pool. Um, pretty pretty reasonable build on Metalopolis. Oh, looks like he actually might have his Overlord speed so well thought out and his uh, the Marine spawn time so uh, much memorize that he can actually save this overlord let's see because it does take an overlord uh i mean it does take a marine a long time to shoot an overlord down by himself yeah look at that very cool by sen just uh understanding the limits of his ability to scout and the uh, exact timings of other races units is uh pretty important um at this level of play um if you're in the Silver League, I wouldn't worry about knowing the exact timing of how long it takes to make a Hellion or anything like that. But it is a step towards, it is a step up to uh, learn learn all the races. That's why I recommend playing random. So here's a bunker going down at the fast expansion. Um, two Zerglings out should make quick work of this. Um, Loner's probably going to just cancel. Yeah, uh, Sen did get the two Zerglings out on time. Again, a really nice move by him. So um, in the meantime, here comes the Queen. He's a killer. Queen and the Roach Warren. So we're going to see a Roach opening with a fast expand from Sen. In the meantime, uh, this SCV is getting chased all the way back home by Zerglings, but the Marines are on the patrol, so no worries for him. And uh, Factory Starport, so we're doing a really fast tech build from Terran. Um, possibly some cloaked Banshees, um, but uh, most likely Thor, um, because Thors are pretty good. So there's the expansion going down. Actually, no, only uh, only one gas so far. So we're actually probably not going to see either cloaked banshees nor thors. We're going to see something else entirely. Looks like uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what comes out of this uh, starport. Maybe just a regular banshee, just for harassment. But here comes the here comes the hellion, a motorin like night ranger, sister Christian, coming around the corner just to check out this expansion, take some shots. But queens are all over it. Queens are having none of that. You just you just get out of here, Mr. Dune buggy. We don't like your 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 fossil fuel burning engine ruining our ecosystem and roaches yeah roaches with their upgraded range take out the hellion pretty nicely uh, hellion used mostly for scouting there and it looks like it is going to be a banshee um, still no gas for loner so um, looks like he's just gonna keep the zerg occupied with this banshee while he tries to uh, safely expand and builds builds up so he's going three barracks starport looks like he's not going to use the factory for anything. looks like it's mostly going to be an infantry build. So there's the tech lab going down. I don't think uh, Sen saw m much of what was up there. He did see the command center, so he knows uh, Terran's a little bit vulnerable and he might be able to uh, push with these roaches right now. 
uh, road speed not upgraded yet so you can see these uh, fat black homies uh, <laughs> I didn't I don't I just meant black as in like obsidian but you know whatever uh, huffing and puffing their way towards this ramp and uh, yeah the bunkers pretty much gonna deter them uh, but uh, the good news for Sen is that he can't uh, quite lift this command center and go put it at the expansion yet. He's going to have to just use it for SCVs and overload and for mules because of the roach pressure. Um, but Sen actually is going to back off, but he still uh, still wasted a lot of time of this command center's time. So that's cool. Viking coming out. Oh, I actually never saw what happened with the Banshee. It looks like there was a bunch of Banshee stuff happening. Yeah, five kills on the Banshee. Sorry, I was watching the roach pressure, but you didn't miss much. He got five kills. Uh, probably at least one or two of them was Zerglings, so... Um, maybe they might have all been drones, but... Alas. Checking out. So here comes the Viking. He's gonna just come... Uh, he already popped one Overlord, and he's going for a second. A uh, very, very good move from Loner. Um, just such a simple... A simple unit to make that has the potential to do so much damage. And, uh... Um... I don't know, I guess the trend now, I, I guess there's a trend in uh, casting now where you just leave the production tab open the whole game that people are bitching about. I I didn't know this was, like, hip now. Nice transfusion on the Overlord, by the way. He is not able to get that second Overlord. But uh, I guess people like the production tab open the whole game. I don't know. Sure, why not? Doesn't bother me. Um, so anyways, this Viking's going to uh, head back home for some repairs. And uh, this Banshee, Banshee uh, uh, he's copying the Banshee. The Banshee started this trend by getting repaired, and this guy is just such a copycat, but whatever. Looks like uh, we got just Marauder, 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 Marauder Marine Medivac going down for Loner while he expands, and uh, just uh, putting down bunkers and uh, adding the Supply Depot wall to kind of help with the Roach range. Uh, pretty smart move, although it can get you food blocked if, if you're not too careful. So here comes the Roaches now. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot. Uh, take a look at the units. He's got uh, 11 roaches, and they're not all here. Um, so I th think he should be able to handle this okay. But he, look at this. He built this cute little wall over here, and Loner just kind of <laughs> just kind of walked around it. And no, I'll just I'll just go from this side. So all all of Loner's plans to have these nice protected infantry kind of got spoiled there. But still going to chase off the roaches because there again, there's not that many there. Uh, pr Pretty pretty heavy marine count uh, next to this uh, reactor here, and he is making marines out of this guy too. So, so yeah, it looks like we're just gonna see your everyday bio ball. So he techs up really fast, gets that banshee harassment going, and then just reverts back to uh, tier 1.5, which is actually, I mean, a really really strong uh, really strong strategy. Just uh, you know, uh, people used to do it in Brood War. Um, obviously not with the uh, same unit composition because they weren't in Brood War, but People would tech up to uh, tech up to Dark Templar for harassment, and then just go, you know, Dragoon Zealot and stuff um, all the time. So, don't be afraid to revert back to lots of lower tech units, even if you are tier three. So it looks like there's enough roaches here, especially now that they have the Gilly or the Constitution upgrade to uh, fend this off pretty nicely. And uh, Loner, <laughs> Loner sees that, and he's like, you know, nah, dog. Looks like he might go for some cuteness here. And uh, that's what I call drops now, the cuteness. That's I just decided that. Hope you like it. And I thought for a second there, StarCraft crashed. That would have been super, but it didn't, thankfully. Um, here comes uh, the drop over here at the third. Um, looks like they're going to try and just snipe some stuff, but Roaches, um, Roaches on creep with the upgrade. Um, just poking away as this drop. Pretty good move still. I mean, he didn't lose a lot, and he's occupying... Sen at the third while he gathers over here by the uh, Zelnaga Watchtower. Oh, I forgot the, the trend. So here's a Baneling Nest going down. As soon as he saw all those Marines, he immediately built a Baneling Nest, nest just finished. Um, mm. Interesting. Also getting a, uh, a Hydralis Den while he gets his Infestation Pit up. So he's going, uh, he's committing pretty hard to, uh, to stopping this infantry. And as you can see, right as that happens, we start to see the tanks rolling out. Um, does he have siege mode? No, he doesn't. Uh, looks like he might just go light on the tanks, but actually, a, 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 another transition into into mech might not be bad here. But we'll see how this infantry stuff goes. He has committed to it pretty heavily, so he might have to stick with it. In the meantime, a drop up here on the top while this bio ball tries to push in, but Sand doesn't fall for it. He does not bring his whole army up the ramp to uh, stop this drop. Rather, very good unit control, leaving a group of roaches here to deal with this, and. Uh, 
Looks like uh, these roaches are plus one and the infantry also plus one, so. Uh, but roaches are really good against marines and this is mostly a marine force. So the roaches are going to push this back really nicely as the infestors come out and the hydroists. So uh, Bioball pushing back a little bit, just trying to, to uh, use those concussive shells to pick off any roaches that may be lagging behind. And uh, going to continue to try a light contain. Um, no siege mode, uh, but... So we're not going to see anything crazy. Oh yeah, there is siege mode being contained. So it looks like he is going to go for a pretty hard contain on Zerg here, but I think Zerg, uh, Zerg's already on three bases. That's going to be... I mean, Containing a guy to three bases with siege tanks. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying siege tanks are only for containment, but um, I think maybe Thor would have been a stronger opening against this particular build. Uh, Roaches are just really good against infantry, especially with their new range upgrade. They are uh, they're, they're they're a powerful unit that they were always supposed to be in for a time were too powerful, but now I think with the Roach range there, they're a pretty darn good unit. They're like they're like Marauders. They're just tough and sturdy and cool. I mean, obviously they're not quite as beefy as a Marauder, but they are, they're still pretty deadly for their cost. So. Here comes a push from Sen. In the meantime, a small Roach Expeditionary Force is going to come over here, but the Planetary Fortress is going to finish. So in the meantime, sieging up, that's going to make this a lot harder to fight. So we'll see what Sen can do. Um, he doesn't have enough investors actually, um, out. And, uh, Trying to focus down the tanks, does manage to take down the tanks, does get the fungal growth off, but uh, he lost a lot of units in the meantime. Uh, so yeah, here comes some forces pushing up here, uh, and I think this force is not going to be not going to be stifled. Looks like uh, looks like Loner's push is actually going to uh, just barely actually. I mean, it looks like pretty one-sided, but this force actually is pretty dwindled, and uh, it, the fight was pretty close actually. Um, I think with a couple more investors, Sin would have Sin would have won that fight. Um, but unfortunately, he only had one investor, and uh, the uh, medevacs were able to heal through the fungal, the single fungal growth. So Zerglings coming in now to clean up the mess, but I feel the damage has pretty much been done. Yeah, and the tank's just going to keep firing away while reinforcements come from Loader's base. So yeah, uh, really strong push there. Just three tanks with siege mode really made a big, big difference there. Uh, I thought he was going to need Thor's, but uh, thankfully Sen did not get his investors up in time. So, yeah, man, um, just a matter of moments now before Sen GG's. I would imagine there it is, and GG from Sen Sen. Sen I just said GG from Sen Sen. Yeah, he's like a panda. Sen Sen. And uh, yeah, that was a good game. See y'all in game two.